The Biden administration opening the door for what some are saying is legal immigration through the new CBP-1 app, but people are pointing out serious loopholes in that system. The Biden administration increasing appointments from 1,000 people a day to about 1,500. Uh, one thing the administration may not have considered is the cartel's role along the southern border. A correspondent, Ali Bradley, is joining us now with how there are even more pathways to the cartel disrupting this so-called legal process. Ali. Yeah, Adrian, you're exactly right. If there is a vulnerability to exploit when it comes to legal immigration, the cartel is going to find it. And as we've been reporting, the criminal masterminds just took a little bit of time, but they have once again pivoted in order to maintain the flow of immigration. So let's take a look here at some of these numbers and statistics that we know that the cartel members are now reportedly intercepting migrant groups that are intending to cross at the ports of entry using that CBP-1 app that Adrian was talking about there. Border Patrol agents are telling me that even if an individual wants to go through that port, the cartels are actually telling them that they're going to cross at another point through the river and then Border Patrol will be there to receive them. The cartel tells these migrants that it's an easy way to ask for asylum. If your migrants are crossing illegally between the ports, agents are actually able to do their job and patrol the border, which, of course, cuts into the cartel's bottom line. The reason they do that is because they know that causes that distraction that the drug cartels need in order to bring their drugs back into the country when agents are preoccupied somewhere else. So encounters across the southern border are hovering around 4,000 each day, which is back to kind of normal levels since before the end of Title 42. But these are numbers that agents say are still unprecedented and unmanageable. DHS has said that if a migrant crossed into the U.S. illegally, they're to be turned back for and banned for five years under Title 8. However, migrants legally have the opportunity to claim asylum. So the majority are still being released with a court date. That's what we're seeing, these large groups that are still crossing in Eagle Pass, where we're seeing two to 300 people. But what's really concerning to agents and to the Border Patrol Council is the gotaways, the people who are seen on camera but successfully evade law enforcement, Marquis. So what we're learning here is that there have been at least 540,000 people who have evaded law enforcement. Now, these numbers are coming from sources that do not include May and June. They're saying they expect those numbers to hit a million when the fiscal year is said and done. Something else to consider here, Marky, is when there are fewer agents out in the field to watch for the gotaways and they've taken down a lot of these aerostat balloons, there's fewer eyes, so those numbers are also going to be fewer when it comes to the gotaways, Marky. Yeah. And then it only gets worse. Just remarkable figures there. Uh, Ali Bradley, thanks so much from the border this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.